Hey everybody, this is example number three for mechanics of materials covering stress transformation. The problem statement that we have is the differential element shown in the figure below experiences a state of plane stress. The stress in the normal x direction is equal to negative 25 megapascals. The stress in the normal y direction is equal to 100 megapascals and the shear stress is equal to 50 megapascals and we need to find the maximum in-plane shear stress at this point and the associated orientation and also the average normal stress. So here's our differential plane stress element. We have a compressive stress, a negative compressive stress in the x direction equal to negative 25 megapascals. We have a positive tensile stress in the y direction equal to 100 megapascals and then we have a positive shear stress equal to 50 megapascals. First thing we're going to do is find the orientation of this element that's associated with the maximum in-plane shear stress using this equation. And the equation is tan of 2 times theta equals, equals negative and then the stress in the normal x, x, uh, normal x direction minus the stress in the normal y direction divided by 2 times the shear stress and this qual this quantity I've already calculated and it comes out to be equal to 1.25 so before moving further it's important to note that this equation will have two solutions theta 1 and theta 2 and they will be exactly 90 degrees apart so we'll solve for, we'll solve for uh, theta 1 first and theta 1 is equal to the inverse tan of 1.25 divided by 2 and that's equal to let me see I made a spreadsheet for this example so theta 1 is 25.67 degrees 25.67 degrees next uh, we need to calculate theta 2 and theta 2 is simply equal to theta 1 plus 90 degrees. Theta 1 plus 90 degrees. So that comes out to be 115.67 uh, degrees. 115.67 degrees. And we can also show this graphically. The coordinate system in black is the original coordinate system and then the coordinate system in red is that is the orientation that's associated with the maximum in-plane shear stress so here we have the angle between x and x prime is 25.67 degrees and the angle between x and y prime is 115.67 degrees next we're going to calculate the maximum in-plane shear stress using this formula so to calculate the maximum shear stress, it's equal to the square root of the normal stress in the x minus the normal stress in the y divided by 2 squared plus the shear stress squared. And so the maximum in-plane shear stress is equal to 80.039 megapascals, so about 80.04 megapascals. Now that we've calculated the orientation and the maximum in-plane shear stress, we just uh, we need to find out if the maximum in-plane shear stress is positive or negative. So we know the angle between the x and x prime axes is 25.67 degrees. We're going to use this angle and plug it into the shear stress transformation equation and plug it into the sine 2 theta term and the cosine 2 theta term and the other terms, the stress in the normal x and the y and the shear stress, we already know from the problem statement. And so we plug it into the shear stress transformation equation and we're going to get, the answer we're going to get is going to be equal to 80.04, the value, but it, will, it could be positive or negative and this will tell us whether our maximum in-plane shear stress is positive or negative. So if we look over here, so the shear 
x prime y prime, the, uh, when we plug it into the shear transformation equation, we got positive 80.84, which tells us that our maximum in-plane shear stress is a positive, it's positive, positive sign. And lastly, we calculate the average normal stress, and that's equal to the sum of the normal stresses in the x and y direction divided by 2. And so that's equal to 37.5 megapascals. 37.5 megapascals. And also, uh, by the way, guys, you can get access to these spreadsheets at our website at engineeringexamples.net. And then you can, we can also go ahead and show all these uh, the stresses graphically here. So here's our differential element. It's rotated uh, 25.67 degrees counter, uh, counterclockwise. So here's the original x, and this is x prime. And this is the angle, 25.67 degrees. And then our average normal stress, it's positive, so it's tensile in the x prime and y prime direction. And then we have our positive maximum in-plane shear stress equal to 80.04 megapascals. And this is the end of this example. Please subscribe to the channel and visit the website at engineeringexamples.net. Thanks.